Hey, I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a modern coat rack. We're back here in the bathroom that we worked on not too long ago, and we've got a couple of little things I need to do to kind of finish this room off. One of the big things is to add a towel rack right here. I wanna make sure that it's something that can hold a few towels because this is our guest bathroom as well, but also I don't want it sticking out really far to where it would kind of catch your shoulder when you're walking by. We also don't have any wood grain in here at all, so I think we're gonna make a walnut piece that fits right here, super low profile, but when you need a hanger, you can kind of pull it out and put your towel on it. All right, let's head down to the shop and I'll show you what I'm thinking about. So I've got some stock here that's left over from previous stuff and I'm trying to work around the design with what I actually have on hand. These are brass bars, they're about five inches long, one inch square, and I think what we're gonna do is actually use these for the hangers and then put some walnut strips in between them. So when you look at the entire thing on the wall, it's gonna be like walnut and then a piece of brass and then a walnut, piece of brass. And we're gonna have four of these that are gonna be mounted on a pivot point. So when you need a towel hanger, you can just pull it down like that and then hang your towel on it. When you're done, you just push it back up and everything should be flush against the wall. So I'm looking also at the pieces of walnut I have and trying to figure out the width of the pieces and decide whether I wanna have uniform widths all the way across or maybe kind of scatter it with different thicknesses. So basically I've got a bunch of material here. I'm just gonna start cutting stuff up and kind of fitting it together. I think I'm gonna end up using this bar because the thick stuff that I had actually has a bend in it and that's gonna cause problems later on. So we have more of this coming. I'm gonna end up using a five inch piece of this and that will be the towel holder that comes out. For the walnut, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut down strips of different thicknesses and kind of line them all up and then from there decide whether I wanna make them different depths or different heights or how they're actually gonna be placed together. But I need to get the entire thing laid out in all the right materials and then we'll go from there. Just had another idea and I'm not gonna do this I don't think, but imagine you had this and then you cut in slots and then you were able to embed the pieces of brass in here and so you had kind of a, an organic solid piece with just like brass inserts that looked pretty cool I've got all these pieces cut and I've got them laid out in little chunks of five inches so that the spacing in between them where each one of the pieces of brass will go is evenly spaced. These need to have a piece that runs through maybe like a dowel that they can pivot on. That's gonna connect to the two pieces on each side of them, but I need something to run along all of it and connect all of it together. I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue them up like this into a block with a flat top and a bottom and then we'll figure out how to actually connect them together and what details to add. I've got all these blocks kind of glued up, they're good to go, and now I've got them laid out in the way that I want them to be with the high pieces on the ends. So the lower sections are where the brass pieces are gonna go. To make sure that I keep them in the right orientation and order, I'm gonna flip them all over, just put a little arrow, so I always know which pin should be facing up. And then as I do my planing and shaping and stuff, I won't get confused. And this piece is actually gonna attach across in that dado between all the pieces. So what I need to do is actually start working on where the pivot point's gonna be. And if you come around here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Imagine that this is the cross section of the whole thing. This piece of brass is gonna sit in there and I want it to be able to pivot out and hold the towel on this end. So I need to line those up and then kind of just pick a pivot point and then try to pivot it based on that line and then start to make some marks across the bottom and when I cut this piece off that back edge will be the stop as it starts to lean out. So there will be some uh, kind of doing on this to make sure all of this geometry is correct but this gives me a starting point and I can cut the pieces down and we'll figure it out.
Now that I've got all those blocks lined up on that backer board, I can take the piece of brass that I have and go ahead and cut off this top section so that it can set in place. And then once I've got it down in place, I can actually drill a hole through where the pivot point's gonna be and then use that as a template so that I can drill that exact same hole in all of the pieces for all of the keys or whatever these pieces are called. Even though I'm gonna be using some other tools for this, you can totally cut a brass piece even this thick with a hacksaw. It'll take some time, but you can absolutely do it. You don't have to have any special tools. I got those angles cut and then filed it down just a little bit so it's not sharp. And before I drill this hole, I actually wanna experiment a little bit on a template. So I'm gonna trace this out on some cardboard or some thin wood, and then experiment on those, finding the right pivot point and making sure that it works before I waste the brass. What I'm doing here is making a little template to drill this hole for the dowel so that it's the same on both sides of each one of these pieces. So I've got this piece that will be aligned with the back bottom corner, and then I'll put the hole right there. That way I can do this, and then when I flip the piece over, I can also flip the template and put it in this corner and drill the hole, and they should line up between all the different ones. This piece worked fine, but I realized that I cut away a little bit too much material and that was not stopping it like it should. So using that piece, I actually made another template that will stop on this back piece. And so now when you push it back, it stops in the right place and I can use this one as a template to cut the final brass pieces. While I'm waiting on that material to show up, I can go ahead and sand all these down and I need to glue the ends back on. I actually knocked off the last piece so that I could cut that dado straight through and now that that's done, I can glue this piece back on so you don't see that back piece at all. I made a little template and that way I was able to make three of these that are exactly the same, got the holes all in the right place. These are ready to go in except they need to be cleaned up. So I've got some 800 grit sandpaper and I'm just trying to kind of polish them up a little bit and then I'll put some wax on them and some oil and wax on all the walnut and then we're gonna glue this thing together and put it on the wall. Obviously we changed the purpose of this just a little bit. It's not a towel rack now, it's a coat rack right inside our front door. Obviously it still works as a towel rack if you wanna use it that way, but I think visually it just fits better here. Now I really, really love the combination of the brass and walnut. I think this turned out great and I'm really happy with it. One of the cool things about it is that you could change the spacing on this or continue to add more and more and more. Make this as long as you need it to be. If this gave you an idea for a small thing that you can use in your house to make it better or just nicer to look at, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We've also got tons of other types of projects that you may wanna check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. 
Hey, I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a coat rack that used to be a towel rack, but it's basically the same thing. It's just in a different room on a different wall. <laughs> At your shoulder when you're walking by. We'd also, mm, also, cutting stuff up and kind of fitting it together. Ba-ding! Ooh. Perfect.